what is up guys welcome back to my channel i am super happy that you guys clicked on this video and i am super happy to be filming this video for you guys now as you can read from the title in today's video i'm going to be doing brown skin versus dark skin black girl speaks a commentary video if you guys don't know i actually have a video on my channel called light skin versus dark skin black girl speaks and it did really well so i know that you guys like content like this but before we get into the video i have a huge announcement that i want to tell you guys and i am super excited to relay this news to you guys so if you guys don't know right now this channel is officially on the road to 1k specifically we are on the road to 1k by the end of the summer so right now my channel is about around somewhere like 360 something but yup by the end of the summer we need to be at at least 1k subscribers how are we gonna do this i'm gonna be grinding for the next three weeks i'm gonna be posting three videos a week on my three most popular basically like genres on this channel so on mondays i'm gonna be giving you guys like today today's gonna be the first one i'm gonna be giving you guys commentary slash talking videos on Wednesdays, I'm going to be giving you guys college slash college advice videos. And on Fridays, you guys are going to be getting fatty on a budget video. So what can you guys do to help me get to 1K by the end of the summer, you ask? You can like, comment, binge watch, and most importantly, share my channel, okay? Share. The more people that see, the more people are likely to subscribe, and we can do it. We can do it. I'm going to be putting in the work, and I would love the support from you guys. So anyways, on that, I don't want to ramble too much. But make sure that you guys are subscribed if you aren't. Make sure that you guys follow my social medias. Everything's going to be linked down below. And that's pretty much it. I'm going to get right into the commentary because this video is going to be very juicy. Very filled with a lot of thoughts, opinions, feelings, and so what and so on. So, yes. Okay, so I really have a lot of talking points for this video. But I don't want this video to be too long. So I'm trying to sum up all my thoughts because I have a lot of like feelings ideas you know about this so basically i was on tiktok and i was scrolling and i noticed that i kept coming across videos where there was like there was always controversy if either somebody called themselves brown skin or if somebody called somebody else brown skin like the term brown skin is literally kind of looked at as like a self-hatred kind of thing for somebody that's like afraid to call themselves dark skin or they think they're better than dark skinned people and for me it really took me back because i'm like really like is it that deep like our spectrum of black and we come in so many different types there's such a variety of us so is it really that much harm for us to have three categories that we place ourselves in now mind you yes at the end of the day we're all black if you think that you're better than another black person because you're brown skin yes that is definitely problematic and i see people say things like oh but we're all brown skin ah uh, ah uh, ah uh. and it's like if you're saying that you're literally getting just caught up on nuances because you know what that person means in the context of how they're saying it now don't get me wrong i definitely understand that it is so problematic if you are like one shade from being considered deeply melanated and you think that you're better than the next person or even if you are the lightest spectrum of brown and you think you're better than the next person that's black you're bugging that's not how it works but it's just like i'm gonna insert some of these videos that i've seen and you guys form your own opinions and then we'll get into it some more okay so i realized that some of these videos actually have music or bad words and i don't want to get copyrighted so i'm just going to do a voiceover so essentially in this video the guy captioned it pov brown skins watching from the sidelines and honestly the video in itself it was like whatever but when i got to the comments that's when it really sparked some thought for me so i've seen a lot of people commenting things such as brown skin doesn't exist or brown skin is still team dark skin or you can't be brown skin you're either light skin or dark skin and some people were even going as far as to say like he wasn't brown skin um it caused a lot of debate and as you could see there was people that obviously had different opinions but the majority was a lot of people that were kind of discrediting the middle ground and saying that you know brown skin doesn't exist and that sparked a lot of thought for me because i didn't realize that there were people who didn't like the fact that we kind of have a middle ground category they either want you to choose one side or the other so i just thought that was interesting 
imagine the KKK kidnaps you and they're about to like hang you on the tree and you're like, but I'm not dark skin. I'm brown skin. And then they're like, oh my God, you're brown skin? Okay, bring it down, 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 bring it down. The KKK does not care if you're brown skin because you're still gonna be hanging from the tree. And this girl posted this and she was just like, she considers herself brown skin, not dark skin. And she went on and said she's not ashamed of her skin. She just doesn't think she's dark skin. Now I've seen a lot of people chiming in on this. And one thing that's not sitting right with me is how quick everybody is to basically to force this girl to say that she's dark skin. She, to me, looks brown skin. The black skin is a gradient. Every shade on the gradient is beautiful, as she said in the post. But it's just like, people are so quick to say, she's dark skin. She needs to be proud of being dark skin. Back in the past, people used to make fun of it. It ain't got nothing to do with that. She does not look dark skin. If somebody used this post as a dark skin appreciation post, you know good and well half the comments will be like, she's not even dark skin. So yeah, even the comments under that video were very polarized. And it kind of just contributes to my point that whenever the topic of brown skin comes up, it always leads to some type of disagreement or conflict. And I just find that very interesting. So yeah, you guys saw those videos. So for me, my biggest takeaway was like, is there a difference between brown skin versus dark skin? Is there such thing as brown skin privilege? And is there kind of, you know, what some would like to call like a safe brown? Does that really exist? Or is it all just like, once you're not light skin, you're just dark skin kind of thing? So for me, I want to take a second and discuss my opinions on the answers to those questions. Feel free to leave your answers to the questions in the comments. It's opinionated, so there's no right or wrong answer. But personally, first, is there a difference between brown skin and dark skin? For me, I would say yes, there is. And I'm gonna go in later and express why I think it's so important that if you're brown or dark skin, you should be okay with there being a distinguishment between those two categories. It doesn't, it's not supposed to be dividing, but it's just to say like, there's people that are like high yellow, they're light skin. There's people that are deeply melanated and there's people that fall in between. And that's just that. Now in terms of brown skin privilege, to that, I would say yes and no. Okay, so in terms of colorism, do brown skins benefit from colorism? Absolutely not. That's one way where it's like, do brown skins have privilege? They don't have, or I guess we don't have. You guys can comment down below what you guys think I am. Cause I'm kind of scared to say that I'm brown skin. Cause if I say I'm brown skin, I feel like I'm gonna be like, you're dark skin. If I say I'm dark skin, I feel like I'm gonna say I'm brown skin. But yeah. And I've been deeply melanated and I've been very pale brown before. So trust me, I get all sides of this discussion. I'll even insert a picture here when I was very chocolate and I'll insert a picture here when I've been very pale. So yeah, that's, when you're brown, you fluctuate anyways. But yeah, anyways, like I was saying, in terms of brown skin privilege existing, I would say yes and no, because brown skins don't benefit from colorism. But you know how like black men in the community, like especially dark skinned black men, in the community it kind of helps them out but outside of the community it does nothing for them actually it's bad for them brown skin like especially if you're like the safe brown skin you're kind of in the same box not as like like high as dark skinned men are because you know dark skinned men are kind of put on a pedestal in the black community but if you are like, the stallion type brown for example you are pro like nobody ever called you blacky in elementary school most likely depending where you went but you know depending where you went also depending on your features and futurism and stuff like that i'm sure that you weren't probably the most highly sought after when it comes to who's being chose you're probably not or you probably weren't the top choice if that makes sense because as we know light skin and mixed women they're kind of put on the higher pedestal than brown skin and dark skins. Brown skin and dark skins I feel like are in the same boat to some extent. Like brown skins do not have the same experience as dark skins. And I can say this because when I was younger, I was, like I keep saying, I was deeply melanated. I literally felt invisible at some point. Like when my skin got lighter, which was around ninth grade, literally eighth grade, I went from being 
super super dark to ninth grade i want to say i was lighter than what i am now and things took a switch for me like the boy that i like started liking me back all of a sudden a lot of boys started to try to talk to me literally i went from being invisible to like getting more attention being perceived as more attractive so it's like being safe brown in a way it does give you some advantages over dark-skinned women maybe not necessarily over other groups of women that are like pedestalized but over dark-skinned women but yeah i feel like i was ranting but i'm gonna get into the next topic or my next discussion point okay okay my next discussion point is why i feel like it is important that we understand the difference between light skin brown skin and dark skin and the main thing for me is representation okay so i don't know if you guys have noticed but black women we have asked for more representation obviously we have gotten more representation and I'm actually going to list you guys off some of our highest paid black actresses. And I'm going to put pictures of these women too, okay? So that would include Kerry Washington. That would include Zendaya. That would include Regina King. That would include Issa Rae, Octavia Spencer. Now, all of these women are so talented and they deserve every accolade they've ever received. And these women are Hollywood's go-to for when they're looking to cast dark-skinned women now I really want you to look at these women like genuinely take a look at them if you need to go back and look at the pictures do that none of these women are deeply melanated they are all for the most part like safe brown even like Taraji P Henson very much safe brown but I say that to say that because we want to have the lines between what is brown skin and dark skin blurred we really have no place to yell at Hollywood when they make our representation of dark-skinned women light brown women or safe brown women. The only people that come to mind when I think of deeply melanated women in Hollywood that are like successful would be Lupita and would be Destiny Ryan. And I really want you to look at both of their faces. They both have very small features. Um, Destiny Ryan, she literally low-key has like her features are very racially ambiguous if you look at her features like if she told you she was mixed with something she might actually be I, I really don't know but if she told you she was mixed with something i'm pretty sure you would believe her she just has dark skin so can you really think of at least five can you even think of three but or two or even one but for the sake of this can you think of five deeply melanated actresses that are in the game getting a bag besides Viola Davis you do we do have Viola Davis because she does have like the typical features of you know a dark-skinned woman like she's an accurate depiction of what most dark-skinned women look like so I will give that but yeah besides that we don't really have enough deeply melanated representation and I blame that on the fact that we want to give brown women safe brown women the spots of deeply melanated women when it's not inclusive and in a way when you're saying like oh there's no such thing as brown skin we're just it's light skin and it's dark skin like you're also kind of contributing to the erasure of dark skin women because you can't get mad at hollywood when they give zendaya the role of of, of the dark skin woman when you don't think there's any difference between the two and another analogy i have is imagine that there was a movie and for casting, they were specifically supposed to cast a mixed woman, a light-skinned woman, and a dark-skinned woman, right? For the mixed woman, let's say they give it to Zendaya, because Hollywood loves Zendaya. I love Zendaya too. For the light-skinned woman, let's say they give it to somebody like Warren London, who we can't deny. She's like high yellow. And then for the dark-skinned woman, let's say they give it to somebody like Megan Good. She's a brown-skinned woman. Since there's no lines between what is brown skin and what is dark skin, you can't complain if you have a problem with it. So honestly, I feel like it's okay to categorize because when you when we make the categories, that means or we can speak up when we aren't being represented because there's no reason that we don't have enough women that are this that favor Lupita and that favor Ryan Destiny in terms of skin tone, you know, on stage being the highest paid actresses. Out of all the highest paid 
um black woman actresses viola davis is really the only chocolate like um i'm not even gonna say chocolate she's the only deeply melanated woman there and there's no young girls because even ryan destiny is not there um and even lupita is not there on that list so representation is a really big problem and that's a really big reason that we need to be okay with okay this is what a dark skin woman looks like this is what a brown skin woman looks like and this is what a light skin woman looks like it shouldn't be used to divide us but it's okay to label something i don't know i feel like this is kind of sidetracked but there are certain times where black people just don't like labels like we get so caught up in the nuances and like we just don't like them but in other circumstances like if you want to say oh that's not a black feature black people would be like what is black features and it's like you can't act like we don't you don't know what typical black features are you feel me and yes i know like everything originated in africa uh uh, uh i feel you but like let's stop acting clueless we know that black features are big afros because when a when a white girl wears it we're like why are you trying to steal our style or even the way that we talk like when people say you're talking black like we act mad clueless but let a white girl talk like the way that we talk we're gonna be like why are you talking like that you feel me i don't know we get caught up in labels so much but it's okay to label certain things to a certain degree not necessarily stereotype but you know labels are not the worst thing okay period okay so i feel like i pretty much covered all the topics that i wanted to talk about um i'm really curious to know what do you guys think um like i've said in every commentary video that i've made so far my channel when we have conversations like this it is open conversations say how you feel but be respectful that's the biggest thing as long as you're respectful we are good you can completely disagree with every single thing i say and i will not have a problem with that just be be respectful and you know tell your point in the comments even if you find somebody in the comment section that you don't agree with, be respectful. That's all I have to say. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. Remember, we are on the road to 1K subscribers by the end of the summer. So I'm going to need you guys to subscribe. I'm going to need you guys to like, comment. I'm going to need you guys to share this video. So stay tuned, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it. Bye.